What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, we're going to look at group by and pandas. Hey guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at group by, but before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off memberships, all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at group by, and group by is exactly like it sounds. It groups things by other things, and it's super easy, but very, very useful. And that's what we're going to look at in this video. And I've got a file here called group by, and as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other pandas videos in the series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I'm starting out the same way we always do. We're importing pandas and numpy, and I've just created some dummy data here. So you can see we've got three columns, corporation, employees, and salary. And for corporation, we've got Apple, Google, Meta, Apple, Google, Meta, So basically three companies. And we've got some employees, John April West, Beth, Justin, and Steph, six employees. And we've got salaries. Now these are in thousands. So think 200,000, 220, 190,000, 130,000, you get the idea. So we're going to create a data frame like we have in the past and just pass in this stuff into our data frame. And when we do, let me shift in to run this guy, we get this nice little data frame. And you can see, you know, it's kind of all over the place, right? We've got Apple here, Apple down here. We've got Google here, Google down, and nothing's sort of grouped together. And, uh, you know, this is not that useful to look at. If we want to actually find information that's useful, we need to group some of these things together and then take a look at it. So that's what we're going to do. So let's come down here and let's group by the company, so the corporation. So what we can do here is call our data frame, my underscore DF, and then we can call dot group by. And then inside of here, we could just pass whatever we want to group by. So we want to group by our corporation. So when we do, we get this weird object looking thing. It's basically just an address and memory. So that's not useful at all. What we want to do is assign that to a variable. So I'm going to call this company and set that equal to that. We shift enter. We don't get anything. If we want to look at it, it's still just going to be that same weird object, right? But now we can do stuff with this company object. So let's say we want sums. We could call company dot sum. When we do that, we get this cool data frame that shows the three companies. It's grouped by company, right? And we can see the sum of all the things. So the sum of the salaries of people that work for Apple is $330,000. And we can confirm that if we want. Come up here, look at Apple 200, Apple 130, 200 plus 130 is 330. Sure enough. So that's really cool. We could find all the sort of math things that we've looked at in past videos. So let's go company dot mean we can find the mean of all of these guys and you can see it we're getting the average salary for each company now you'll notice we have employees and salary and we're kind of ignoring this employees column when we're doing this so that's because the employees column is strings right they're words and you can't find the average of words you can't find the sum of words so pandas is just sort of ignoring it and focusing on the columns that have numbers integers and that's how that's doing it. We can also get the min and the max. So let's go company dot max. And here we do get employees because remember when we looked at max a few videos ago with strings, it will take them alphabetically. So you can see John, Justin, Wes, that's alphabetically in max. We can also do min to get min. Same deal, we'll just type in min here instead of max. So that's cool. We can get standard deviation, right? So let's go company dot STD. And boom, now we get the standard deviation of all the salaries. Very cool. We can get variance, V-A-R. Like I said, you can go through all the math type things and, uh, and do them. If we want to get a count, we could go company dot count. Now, this is useful with actual people, too, because we could see the employees. You know, there are two employees in each company. The salaries, there are two sets of salaries in each company. Very cool. So basically, like I said, you could do all the mathy type things. We looked at describe way back at the beginning of this series, and this will sort of sum up everything, right, in a nice little table. So this will give us the count, the mean, the standard deviation, the min, the max, a bunch of quartiles here. Well, all in one nice looking chart, and that's kind of useful and very cool. So group by, super, super useful. Just a real quick and easy way to, you know, group by anything you want and pull relevant data out. And it's just that easy. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. 
You'll have over 150,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.